Hi, I'm Sean Gannigan, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about solving rational equations. We're going to solve each equation and remember to check for extraneous solutions. So if I was given this equation, 4 over n squared is equal to 5 over n minus 1 over n squared. Okay. Right now, I want to combine these two fractions. I can't at the moment because, well, this has a base of n and has a base of n squared. So what I'm going to do is multiply this 5n by n squared, or n over n. Okay, so I multiply this by n over n. Uh, if I can fit that in, n over n. A little, little fit it in there, right there. Okay, if I multiply it by n over n, I'm left with 4n squared on the left. That doesn't change that. But I have 5n over n squared on the left, uh, on the right side, or left of these two, minus 1 over n squared. What that allows me to do is combine these two fractions together. When I combine the two fractions together, I'm left with 4 over n squared, again on the left, is equal to 5n minus 1 over n squared. They have the same base. Multiply now n squared to both sides. Eliminating the n squareds right there, these n squareds get eliminated. Now I have 4 equals 5n minus 1. Pretty easy to solve now. Add a 1 to both sides. 5 equals 5n divided by 5. Rewrite it here. n equals 5 divided by 5 is just 1. There we go. Okay? Toss it in there, okay? So now if I have n equals 1, I need to check that. So I'm going to check it. I'm going to rewrite my equation. 4 over n squared is equal to 5 over n minus 1 over n squared. Well, if n is 1, I can quickly just plug it in. 4 over 1 squared equals 5 over 1 minus 1 over 1 squared, okay? 4 over 1 squared, 1 squared is 1. 4 over 1 is just 4. 5 over 1 is 5 minus 1 over 1 squared, which is 1. 1, 5 minus 1 is 4. Fantastic. Left and right hand side are equal. Great. Confirming n equals 1 is my final answer. So let's recap. We're given 4 over n squared is equal to 5 over n minus 1 over n squared. I had to rewrite uh, 5 over n. I multiply by n over n at the same base so that I can combine these two fractions together. Give me 5n minus 1 over n squared on the right. I then multiply n squared to both sides. Eliminated the n squared on the right and left side, giving me 4 equals 5n minus 1. I then added a 1 to both sides, then divided by 5, and rewrote it to have an n come first, giving me my answer here of n equals 1. I then had to check that for my extraneous solutions. I plug it back into my original equation. And in doing so, it's pretty simple, right? A lot of 1 squares just being 1. I'm left with 4 equals 5 minus 1, and then 5 minus 1 is 4, so 4 equals 4. Fantastic. Check. Good. That confirms our final answer, which is n equals 1.